So I was thinking about the worst movie lines in history. And what came immediately to mind is when Harry met Sally. Because Harry says a lot of really bad lines. Like, I love that when it gets cold out, it's 71 degrees. Like, it's like they purposely try to make bad lines. But then as I think more critically, that movie is all about bad lines. So it almost guards itself from being the worst lines in movie history. So then I think about the movie Sneakers with Robert Redford. And at the end of the movie, they're all going around saying to the CIA agent what they want in return for giving up the secret technology. And Robert Redford says world peace and they all giggle and the CIA agent says the CIA doesn't do world peace. And it's all very funny. But then River Phoenix's character says he wants the female cop's phone number. And the female cop says, you can have anything in the world and you want my phone number. And the camera cuts to River Phoenix and he says, yes. Like that's all he says is yes. Here you have the hottest young actor in Hollywood who's kind of a rebel in his own time. And it's like they shot the shot as a fill-in by the second director at another time and they cut it in. He just says yes. Look, I, I, it's not like I don't see where you're coming from. I can't help but like bad lines in, in songs and movies. And I get it if you were a tomato, right? Like if you were a tomato, you might say that's bad. And I, I know what, I know it's bad. Cause I, you know, I've been thrown at things and I get, I rot, but I mean, have you ever seen a, a lemon criticize something that like, like that, that's tomatoes. That's what tomatoes do. I'm not a, I'm not a tomato. I don't know. I like, I like when Harry met Sally. I think it's, I, I, I cried a little, you know. Really, bad lines are bad lines. And to really get to the essence of what a bad movie line is, has to go a lot further than just lines I don't like or scenes that were shot poorly we have to get to the core of what a bad line is. It has to break down the ontology of lines themselves. Almost like Breakfast at Tiffany's goes against everything we think is a good movie, but everyone likes Breakfast at Tiffany's. I can weigh in, and that would make sense to me, but... No, nobody has lemons for breakfast. It's not like I'm going to have this lemon cereal, right? And this lemon, like, nobody has lemon delight. It's, uh, have you seen Logan? That movie Logan? I like that movie Logan. That was a really good movie. We could talk about that. Um, I cried a little bit. Robocop 2 is this great dystopian film. And there's all these critiques about how the original RoboCop and its sequel are these cyclical films that have been very well thought out. The writers put all this energy into thinking about how the movie, you know, cycles to the climax and then winds back down. And and Terminator and Terminator Two don't have that same level of complexity, and they're very much focused on the one-liners to the extent that. There were publications listing Arnold's entire script. It was just a you know column of text. It wasn't very elaborate. So so it's almost like they're going against the whole notion of dialogue, and dialogue itself has become this commodity to be to be thrown away in in what can be considered the greatest action movie you know of all time. So maybe all of that constitutes the worst lines in movie history well you know i i i think you're right it's hard when you are in fact a commodity form which we are 
right? Plucked from trees before we even know our parents' names, you know, put in boxes, shipped somewhere, plopped in front of a camera, boom, you're a critic. I just keep thinking about, I'll be back, right? I'll be back. But there's something about that, that celluloid becoming digitized and the commodification itself being what transcends our embodiment, our objecthood, right? Uh, our shelf life, if you will. I don't know. I mean, I'm just a lemon. But, but maybe you're right. Maybe they're all bad lines, right? I'll be back. We know you won't be. And yet, there you are, right? It's the eternal return of the conscience. Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm just a lemon. <laughs>